Hello my friends, how's it going? My name is Lady Morales and in today's video we're going to be talking about Do you need to go to college to become a working actor? Let's get started. The video today, it's going to be a little bit, I don't want to say it's going to be controversial because it's not, it's just going to be my opinion. So please do your research, do your due diligence online. Don't just listen to like this random girl on the internet. Do your due diligence, do your research, and just understand that this is from my personal experience. And there's that. So I am an Atlanta actor and I do work pretty consistently in Atlanta um, in, in the film industry. So I did go to college and I did get a degree in theater and performance studies. Now, while I was in college though, I was still studying outside of the theater program and I was actually very involved in the Atlanta film community by doing independent films and student films, getting experience, doing of course uh, training in, in on-camera technique in Atlanta studios. Again, I was very active outside of college as well. I didn't rely all of my education just to my college program. And even then, I wanted, to do that. I wanted to do that because the training for my theater program, again, was for theater, for the most part. And so by me training outside in private studios in Atlanta, I know there's like a weird chair. There we go, that's better. I know by training, um, it just really helped for me and I'm really happy that I was training outside of the, of the college and I was doing um, I was going to private studio, not private studios, and I was training at different acting schools and studying different acting techniques. Short answer, do you need to go to college to become an actor? Absolutely not. You do not need to go to college to become an actor. As a matter of fact, looking back, I wish I would have gotten a degree in something more business related and just participated in theater in college and just auditioned for stuff and not be in the theater program. Because not for nothing, a lot of my professors were great, but a lot of the teachings were very much outdated and they're even more outdated now because of the self-tape world. Um, but a lot of them had have not auditioned in years, even decades. And again, it was more theater based. So I'm specifically speaking on people who want to do film acting. It was very much theater based. Now I loved being in the um, in the shows and those plays and and all in the audition process, I like doing the experience of of being a theater actor. And again, I started with theater. I was doing theater outside of college anyway. But to answer the question, if I could go back, I would rather have gotten a degree in either. I know my school offered an entrepreneurship program, the business program, marketing program, because this is show business. I feel like I would have gotten so much more ahead if I would have focused on being more business savvy and looking at this as an entrepreneur, which you really are an act as an actor, you're not your own you're an entrepreneur. You're the CEO of your brand. And I wish I would have focused more on that and then still worked on auditioning for their plays and their programs or their the events that they were doing as well as still continuing training outside of the of the of the school. So there's a situation on that. I I think unless you go to like, I don't know, one of the big schools like Tisch or the American Academy of Dramatic Arts or like a conservatory or what's another one, Stanford, um, any of like the well-known theater programs, the well-known programs where a lot of actors like Meryl Streep um, have studied at, even then I think you'll get a boost, but is it the end all be all? No, because and at the end of the day, if you audition for a part and you're not it, you're not it. And depending on, and I don't think for the most part, the school that you studied at is gonna pay a big factor. You know what actually will pay even a bigger factor is your social media following. They would rather look at picking someone over a bigger social media following than where you studied at school. That's just a hard reality. It's just the reality that we live in today. So to answer the question a little bit more, uh, a, a more to be more descriptive or more to elaborate a little bit more, um, if you're going to go to college, 
to be an actor, take a marketing class, take a business class, take an entrepreneurship class or something. Again, this is me. This is just my personal opinion. And study outside of college, especially if you're, if you're wanting to do just specifically film. Now, if my advice for theater is a little bit different because again, a lot of the curriculum that's taught in these schools are more for theater um, based programs. So if you're wanting to do, you know, Broadway or off Broadway or whatever, that's my answer is a little bit different. But for film specifically, no, you do not need to go to college to become an actor. So many actors, the majority of actors actually that I know here in the Atlanta market never went to school for a theater. They never, t they never did that. They have like engineering degrees. They have, you know, degrees that they don't even use. So of course you don't, no, you, you don't have to, there's this lie, it used to be that there was this lie that you have to go to school to become a, a professional theater and to know the greats. And, and I mean, of course you definitely need to know like the greats, like Arthur Miller, like the playwrights, like Arthur Miller, Shakespeare, all that stuff. But, and even then it's, it's still debatable. You don't have to go to college to become an actor. Just what you can do right now to become a working actor and to get ahead is to take acting classes outside of a college Go to like your local, um, look up on Google, get local acting studios, see, you know, who the teachers are, what their experience, if they're working in the industry and start forming connections, submit to indie projects on Actors Access or um, any other legitimate um, website and just keep doing the thing and practice acting, practice um, self-taping. And you're gonna get, uh, me personally, I felt like I got further ahead by just, and I'm so grateful that I was able to actively be studying outside of, of school and still, um, and, and I made lots of connections with people who are now directors and now casting directors. And these came from my acting classes from outside of college. And again, not to rain on the parade of my university program, because I really do think like I had a, an amazing experience, but if I could kind of course correct and go back, once again, I would not get a degree in theater and instead I would just get a degree in entrepreneurship, marketing, and and be able to be more, um, diversify a little bit more with, with those kind of degrees or, or finish my communications degree or whatever. But I, again, I don't, I don't wanna say I don't regret the experience, I regret, I just regret switching completely to theater because I guess my and my end goal was you know if the things don't work out I want to be a drama teacher but then I I looked at teaching and I tried teaching and I just didn't really like it so um, so yeah there's that so if you're a student if you're just graduating high school if you're thinking about switching to theater because you think you need to be an actor don't <laughs> you don't need it unless and once again even if you go to like Tish or or Juilliard or, or whatever uh, the big names are out there. Sometimes if you have a larger following, that's more important than the school that you study that. And I hate to say it and, and, and rain on the parade of these schools, but it's true. Um, and now again, this is just for film. If for theater, I would have a different response. I would just say, just do your research and, and, and make sure you know just do your research do your solid research but for film you guys it's all about looks it's all about knowing your brand i mean even for theater too but i'm saying more for film it's more about you know just looks your brand experience um if your agent's gonna fight for you and your materials all of that great stuff so that is my answer on if you need to go to college to become a working actor any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Reach out to me if you have in, um, questions on Instagram. I answer these questions weekly. And I think that's what I'm gonna start doing is just answering your questions that you guys send to me on a weekly basis. Makes it much more easier instead of me trying to figure out what to talk about because a lot of you guys have different questions about the Atlanta market. But I know today's topic was a little bit more like broad, speaking across the board, but that is my answer. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful week, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye.